Welcome to NFT Empire, where we explore the world of digital art and its underlying technology. Today, we're diving into the world of cryptocurrencies and NFTs and answering a question that many people still have. What's the difference with cryptocurrencies like Bitcoin and Ethereum making headlines for their soaring values and NFTs taking the art world by storm? It's no wonder that many people are confused about how these two concepts relate in this video. We'll break down the key differences between cryptocurrencies and NFTs and show you how they are revolutionizing the way we think about art, ownership, and value in the digital age. So, if you're ready to learn more about this exciting and rapidly evolving space, stay tuned. The two biggest unknowns of the technology are cryptocurrencies and NFTs, and we're here to help you understand what they are, how they work together, and the main differences between them. However, before you dive into these concepts, you first need to understand the technological infrastructure they rely on, which is known as the blockchain. What is blockchain? The blockchain is a new system for sharing and managing data. It differs from more traditional models of the internet known as Web2 by allowing data to be controlled and stored by a democratic network of users instead of a small number of large companies or intermediaries such as Facebook or Google. This is leading to the emergence of a new iteration of the internet known as Web3. Think of the blockchain as a shared digital ledger of data transactions similar to a public ledger. Individual transaction records are stored in blocks that link together to form a chain. Hence the term blockchain. Transactions are only added to the ledger if they are verified by the many nodes. To hack a blockchain ledger, a person would need to gain control over a vast number of computers making it significantly more secure than traditional systems. The blockchain can support decentralized data transactions of all kinds. But the two most prominent types are cryptocurrencies and NFTs. While they have some similarities and interactions, they are distinct from each other in important ways. Let's start by discussing cryptocurrencies. What are cryptocurrencies? We'll stick with BTC and ETH as they are the easiest to understand and reference. Cryptocurrencies are digital currencies that are highly secure and difficult to counterfeit or double spend because they are protected through cryptography. The term crypto comes from this security process, which includes encryption algorithms, public private key pairs, and more. Cryptocurrencies are essentially a form of digital money, which is why they are often referred to as Xcoin. Bitcoin BTC and Ethereum myth are the most well-known cryptocurrencies and each operates within its own separate blockchain system. However, there are thousands of cryptocurrencies in existence that are spread across dozens of blockchain. We will focus on BTC and ETH because they are the easiest to understand and reference. Decentralized exchanges such as OpenSea and Binance allow anyone to buy and sell cryptocurrencies. However, before purchasing any digital currency, you must set up a crypto wallet to store it. While cryptocurrencies can be used to purchase items such as NFTs, many people view them as a trading and investment tool due to their volatility and potential for high value. The essential feature of cryptocurrencies is their fungibility. Similar to fiat currency, just as any $5 bill is as good as another, so too are digital currencies interchangeable. For example, 5 ETH in one digital wallet can be traded for 5 ETH in another digital wallet. It's important to note that there are some safety concerns and regulatory challenges surrounding the use of cryptocurrencies. While the decentralized nature of blockchain technology allows for streamlined transactions and freedom from government interference, it also means there is no third party to assist with transaction issues or reimburse funds if something goes wrong. However, Despite these challenges, the usefulness and value of blockchain-based technology make it likely to remain a significant part of the digital landscape. It's essential to approach the topic with a level head, do thorough research, and not be swayed by extreme perspectives presented in the media. With a basic understanding of cryptocurrencies and how they work, exploring their close digital relative, NFTs, is an excellent way to expand your knowledge. What is NFT? NFTs are digital assets that are unique and singular. Unlike cryptocurrencies which are interchangeable, both NFTs and cryptocurrencies exist on the blockchain as cryptographic assets. To better understand the difference between the two, 
it is helpful to compare them to physical currency and unique physical objects. Physical currency is fungible, meaning any note or coin of a certain value is interchangeable with any other note or coin of the same value. In contrast, unique physical objects like a signed first edition book or a rare baseball card are non-fungible. They cannot be exchanged for another object with the same value because they are unique and hold sentimental or collector's value. Similarly, NFTs are unique digital assets that cannot be exchanged for another NFT with the same value. Now, in this thought experiment, take that principle and apply it to any book that comes with a unique digital signature, certified by its author, of which, let's say, only 25 official copies exist on the blockchain. And you've got yourself an NFT. NFTs allow digital assets to be unique and have monetary value. If you own an NFT, that NFT is yours. And even if someone screenshots it or downloads it, seemingly stealing it, they do not own it. And the public blockchain record verifies this. The beauty of the blockchain lies in its ability to make this transformation. And it has huge ramifications. One of which is how it allows artists of all media to be properly and directly compensated for their work. As long as something can be digitized, it can be made into an NFT, songs, GIFs, JPEGs, photographs, digital drawings, all of these can be made into NFTs. Understanding how NFTs work requires a bit of psychological adjustment. How can a JPEG be unique and ownable if I can take a screenshot of it or download it onto my computer? That is a valid question. And it's one that everyone asks themselves at some point along their journey from Web 2 to Web 3. NFTs, or non-fungible tokens, are unique digital tokens that exist on the blockchain, unlike cryptocurrencies. NFTs are non-fungible, meaning they cannot be exchanged for something of equal value. An example of a non-fungible physical object is a first edition signed book, which cannot be replaced by a fifth edition reprint without a signature. Similarly, NFTs allow digital assets to have monetary value and uniqueness. For instance, any book with a unique digital signature certified by the author, of which only 25 official copies exist on the blockchain, can be transformed into an NFT. Owning an NFT means that it is yours. And even if someone takes a screenshot or downloads it, they do not own it. And the public blockchain record verifies this. This transformation has huge ramifications for compensating artists directly and properly for their work. Anything that can be digitized can be made into an NFT, including songs, GIFs, JPEGs, photographs, and digital drawings. However, understanding how NFTs work may require a psychological shift, since it may seem difficult to comprehend how a digital asset can be unique and ownable. If anyone can take a screenshot or download it, what is the difference between cryptocurrencies and NFTs? In October 2017, a photographer named Kath Simard shared a photograph of a Hawaiian road on her Instagram account. The photo quickly went viral and was shared thousands of times on various social media platforms, without any credit or compensation given to Simard. This is an example of the inequity and problems that exist within Web2, where clicks and views often lead to profit for others but not for the artist who created the content. Using the blockchain technology, Simard was able to authenticate her original image as an NFT by uploading it to the blockchain infrastructure and certifying it as a unique, one-of-a-kind photo. This process involved giving the photo a specific digital signature that no other version of the photo will ever have. Similar to how a painter signs their work and inscribes its edition number, Simard's photo had a digital fingerprint which proved its originality and authenticity. Available to be seen at any time by anyone in the world. Simmer decided to sell the unique photograph NFT, and the buyer paid for it using cryptocurrency, as is typical in the case of NFTs. Different blockchains use different cryptocurrencies. And in this case, the photograph was minted, created and authenticated on the Ethereum blockchain and sold for 100 ETH which amounted to $303,481 at the time of sale. This was a significant turnaround for an artist, whose work had previously been shared and used without any monetary compensation. NFTs are beneficial for artists, as they provide a direct and easy way to be fully compensated for their work, without the need for intermediaries like galleries. Additionally, 
Artists can customize digital contracts to receive royalties from secondary sales. Musicians are also utilizing NFTs to their advantage. As streaming services pay very little, for example, Black Dave has sold songs and albums as NFTs for thousands of dollars, while well-established artists can sell NFTs for large sums. A pan-coming artists are also using the technology to make a name for themselves. NFTs and cryptocurrencies have changed how we view and appreciate art, distribute art, and think about concepts like value and currency. While Web3 is a dynamic and risky place, it is also an exciting and inspirational one. Thank you for watching this video on the difference between cryptocurrency and NFTs. I hope you found this information helpful and informative.